American Horror Story's long-anticipated crossover between Season 1 Murder House and Season 3 Coven will finally arrive this September. Hey everyone, Ryan here, and in order to get you prepared for the new season of American Horror Story, we're going to look back at the most f***ed up moments from Season 1 Murder House. There are a whole bunch, but we narrowed down to the top 11. Of course, there are major, major spoilers ahead. But before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to GameSpot Universe, where we have you covered for all your comic book deep dives, TV breakdowns, and movie reviews. Starting at number 11, it was undeniably disturbing when Constance accuses her daughter Addie of lying and locked her away in a closet full of mirrors telling her to look at herself as punishment. Addie continuously screams at the mirrors while Constance slowly walks away, proving her cruelty once again. Number 10, eating brains. Under housekeeper Moira's prodding, the scene looks way too realistic as Vivian eats an entire raw brain, supposedly for the health of her unborn child. Number 9, Beauregard Langdon. One of the few sweet and innocent souls in the house was Beau Langdon, Constance's deformed son. Throughout the season, we see his red rubber ball roll through the dark corners of the house. But the most disturbing part was learning that Constance kept her son locked up in the attic of the house and eventually had her lover Larry smother him with a pillow, leaving him to haunt the house with the rest of the trapped souls. Number 8. Moira and Mr. Eskandarian Housemaid slash ghost Moira hopes to keep the Harmons from selling the house to potential buyer Mr. Eskandarian. So she seduces him and brings him down to the infamous basement where she proceeds to bite off his... But it looks like a giant dick! Yeah! Take a look out of starboard! Larry and Constance then finish the job by strangling him to death. Poor guy. Number 7, the Antichrist baby. It was no big surprise that something evil was brewing in Vivian's stomach, Rosemary's baby style. But that didn't make it any less disturbing when the nurse faints at seeing the ultrasound and warns of impending doom. Number 6, Larry Harvey's Little Girls. Larry Harvey's unsettling past began when he told his wife Lorraine that he wanted her to leave with the children so that Constance could come live in the house with him instead. Lorraine responded to this by locking herself in the bedroom with her two little girls and setting the room on fire, killing all three of them. Number 5, Tate makes the list with the violent murders of couple Chad and Patrick. After the couple fights and decides not to adopt a baby, Tate kills them for Nora in hopes that the next family who moves in will have a baby. While violent murders are nothing new to this show, the unnecessary use of the fire poker in this scene definitely left us squirming in our seats. Get the lights. Number 4, Thaddeus' Backstory Beyond jump scares of the creature in the basement, the backstory behind the creation of the Infantata is even creepier. The horrors all began when the original owners, Charles and Nora Montgomery's only son was kidnapped and dismembered. Charles then sews his son back together using the beating heart of a patient, creating the Infantata. After discovering what Thaddeus had turned into, Nora kills Charles and then herself. Third on the list, Violet's Corpse and Suicide. One of the biggest surprises of the whole season was learning that Violet's first attempted suicide was actually successful and that she's been dead for weeks. After Tate fails to convince Violet to willingly commit suicide with him, he's forced to finally show her her own dead body. I still cannot get the shot of her bug-infested corpse out of my mind. Number 2, The Tate School Massacre One of the most disturbing moments of the show, and maybe the whole series, is based all too much in reality. Tate's horrific past is revealed when he shoots up a local high school and murders 15 students. It's an obvious reference to the horrible tragedies at Columbine that was uncomfortably realistic. And number 1, The Rubber Man Another appearance for Tate, who might be one of the most f***ed up characters in the entire series. First, we realize that the man in the rubber suit having sex with Vivian is not actually her husband. The camera cuts to Ben in the other part of the house, and we realize that Vivian is being raped by a mystery man in a full bodysuit. But then it gets even darker when the rubber man's identity is revealed as Tate, Violet's ghost boyfriend. Meaning that Tate not only raped his girlfriend's mother, but is the father of one of the twins, making him the father of Violet's half-brother. Gross. I really hate Tate. Those were our top 11 most up moments from Murder House, but let us know what you guys think is most disturbing in the comments below. Also, stay here for more on Coven and the upcoming season of American Horror Story. See you next time.